Greetings, beautiful people. So in this video, I'm going to quickly go over the bodybuilding industry and the bodybuilding world. Figuring since, uh, you know, I worked and was a part of the bodybuilding world. All right. I can uh, give my two cents here. But here's the thing when it comes to the bodybuilding world. I think they are uh, economy's favorite people. For one, they're the biggest consumers. All right. When it comes to supplements, uh, when it comes to food. When it comes to, uh, you know, media attention, when it comes to marketing, when it comes to steroids, when it comes to whatever, you know what I mean? Now, I'm not bashing the bodybuilding world in any kind of way. It is what it is. I uh, am pro-fitness. I think everybody should, you know, work out and feel good about themselves. Now, when you look at the word fitness, I mean, it, it's like you look at fitness. What are you fitting in? You know, what are you fitting into? A new set of clothes or are you fitting into what economy or, you know, society rather, not economy, but society is, uh, you know, deems acceptable. You know what I mean? Are you physically, uh, you know, acceptable? Do you fit in? All right. So you always want to look at that word fitness, bodybuilding. Okay. You're building your body. You're building your body, but what is the end game, you know? Because here's the the funny thing is as a bodybuilder, all right, you have a goal. You're like, I want to get a six-pack. I want to get muscles. I want to get big. But you can get big and acquire that, all right? But for some reason, you're never satisfied, never satisfied. You're always like, nah, man, I want to get bigger. I want to get bigger. I want to get bigger. I want to get more cut, all right? So all your energy, focus, and attention goes just to that. And some people go so neurotic that if they miss a day in the gym, they won't wear a t-shirt. They got to wear a sweater. You know what I mean? I've seen it happen. And and, uh, and another thing is that they have to, uh, some of them subject to, to, to just taking steroids. You know what I mean? They'll take steroids just to, uh, you know, acquire that look a lot faster. So they'll do things unnaturally just to acquire a certain look. But for who? You know, to go out then to the clubs and, you know, to try to get girls and, uh, you know, and I, and I could tell you this from experience where I've actually seen certain people who will take steroids and, you know, push their body to certain limits that their sex drive is shot. So they'll get a girl, but what, what the fuck can you do with her afterwards? You know what I mean? What, what can you do with her? All right. A lot of people acquire so much of this obsession with the, uh, with the gym that they, they, they won't even go out anymore. See, there, there's different things that happen here. You see, a lot of people, if they become conscious, aware or whatnot, they stop going out because they think it's not it's not spiritual or whatnot. And then there's the bodybuilders who now they don't go out because they need to sleep like nine or ten hours, you know, just to just to make sure that they they get muscles overnight. And you know, they don't want to go catabolic or they don't want to do you know certain things that's gonna that's gonna lose their gains or whatnot. I and mean, they'd rather wake up in the middle of the night. Uh, you know, like three in the morning, like it's promoted to take casein protein. All right. They got to eat like six to eight times a day. Um, you know, they got to wake up in the morning and have their first, you know, protein shake. And then they have their breakfast and then they have all these meals after that. But here's the funny thing with these meals. See, with these meals. So you can't cook all those meals in one day. So they, they'll, call, they'll do something called meal prep. All right. So the meal prepping is where they cook ahead of time. So not only do you fuck up the food when you cook it ahead of time, but now they cook it and then they refrigerate it and then they have to go to work. When they go to work, they take their 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 food in plastic containers, okay? And aside from this being detrimental to the food, um, now they go to work and they, they heat it up in a microwave, all right? Now, not only did they fuck up the food when they first originally cooked it and kept it in a, in a plastic container, now they're cooking it in a microwave. All right. And in the microwave, what do you think is happening to that food? You further like fucked it up. You just made it plastic or garbage. You, you just made it nothing. You're just eating dead matter. <laughs> Your body is so good to you that it'll make do of whatever you put in it. So you'll end up gaining, you know, all these muscles from like all these shakes and whatnot. But here's the funny part is all these meals they're eating. I noticed that they start yawning, they get tired and lethargic, and they get bloated and shit. Because I was there, I used to do the same shit. And how, how did they keep themselves energized while they were at work? They would take energy drinks, and they would take like two of them per day. And each one of these energy drinks had like 350 milligrams of caffeine and hydras, whether it be BSN, like Speed Stacks, uh, Monster, Red Bulls, um, 
you know, you 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 got like any energy drink you could you could possibly think of. You know what I mean? Um, you you would take two of them a day. You know, uh, red lines. I remember those were fucking strong as hell. And then they would they would fucking shock their adrenals. And then now when they got out of work, right? They were really tired because they worked all day. They fatigued their adrenals. They they ate all this fucking food that robbed their energy from their body. And now what happens? Um, you know, they they have to go to the gym though. So what do they do? They take a pre workout with. 300 more milligrams of caffeine. Some people take literally 900 to 1,000 milligrams of caffeine a day. I'm not even exaggerating. All right. Now they take this pre-workout and they go all fucking jacked up to the gym like you wouldn't even believe. But but aside from that, you see, here's the thing. Caffeine constricts your blood vessels. So what do you have to do now? Now you have to take a nitric oxide product to enhance this pump. Right. So you would take the nitric oxide, which is literally making this. Your body is all fucked up right now. It's all confused and shit. It don't know what the fuck is going on. It's all drugged up and fucking all over the place, right? So now you go and you stress the body out. You go work out. Now, the, body, the workout is good. The working out is great. You stress the body out. You're supposed to do all that. There's a lot more chemistry that goes on with this. I mean, I've learned this through plants and everything where you, if you stress the plant out, you actually make it stronger. You know, you break muscle tissue down. You make it stronger. You uh, work out hard in the gym. You stimulate certain hormones, your, your testosterone and shit. But here's the thing now. Now... From all this garbage they ate, they're, they're, they're creating a bunch of, you know, uh, irregular chemistry in the body. So they're fucking up their hormones. So now they got to take a test booster. All right. Or if they or if they or if they taking steroids or pro hormones, now they're shutting down their endocrine system from making testosterone. So they have to take testosterone and, and pro hormones or steroids or whatnot. All right. And then they go in cycles doing this. And after that, now you got to take a, a post cycle therapy. All right. Do you know how expensive these steroids are? They're extremely expensive. But you know what? They don't give a fuck because you got to acquire this certain look. All right. Um, just think about all the money that's spent through foods, supplements, and the steroids. All right. And now, here's the thing, though. They promote healthy eating, clean eating through all these, you know, different type of meals that, you know, these meal plans. But now they're allowed one cheap meal a day. Uh, I'm sorry, not a day, a week. Where it could be ice cream, pizza, all these chocolate. And it's promoted all over Instagram. You know what I mean? Cheat meals. Hashtag cheat meals, right? Now, here's the crazy part. Not only do they fuck up their body with these so-called healthy meals that they think they're eating. But they, they, they're, they're further fucking it up by putting the cherry on top. By literally putting the cherry on top with these junk foods. Alright? Because now they're allowed to have this cheat meal. Because they think they're confusing the body or confusing the muscles to do all this shit. Here's another crazy thing. You notice how they have this saying, couples who work out together stay together. And there's a reason for this because if you don't work, if you don't have a female with this same lifestyle, it ain't going to work. And the reason why it ain't going to work is because if what, first of all, these guys spend like two hours in the gym. All right. They obsess over their body literally the entire day. They obsess about what they're eating. If they missed a meal, they go all fucking crazy about them missing a meal. All right. And, um, you know, the the, uh, the the females gotta be in that world too. They gotta be in the gym with them for two hours and shit like that. So I've noticed a lot of females, uh, you know, they, they they do have that same lifestyle. They work out with their with their partner because if not, that girl's gonna be super lonely and not really, you know, into this guy because this guy is only worried about the gym, what his meals are, the clothes he's buying, uh, and basically. All about himself, self-centered, but in the wrong way. You know what I mean? So, there's a lot that goes on. And I'm going to tell you this right now. Uh, it, it, it is what it is. I mean, if you're in this lifestyle, I'm only pointing out what I'm, how I see it now that I'm out of that, out of that world. You know what I mean? Because I'll tell you right now, even just... Taking all this protein, they say, say if you weigh, because I used to weigh 215 pounds, so they say, you see, me, I had to take 230 grams of protein a day. Do you know how much food I had to consume to literally get 230 grams of protein a day? But was I really getting 230 grams of protein a day with all the fucking denatured I was doing with all this fucking cooking and microwaving shit? You know what I mean? Now that, that you're like aware of this shit and you could step out of that fucking bubble and look at it from a bigger picture, you start to see how ridiculous this is. You know, I can tell you right now, even just taking all this protein, you actually mess up the body's natural chemistry because your body already makes protein. 
It already makes protein. So the fact that you're taking, that's why it's good to even protein cycle. The fact that you're taking in all this protein, it messes up the body's natural chemistry. Now the body needs to eat all this. They talk about when you, when you uh, eat small, clean meals throughout the day that you're actually speeding up your metabolism, your body's burning fat. But what's actually happening here is this, is that when you eat all this food, all right, every time you eat this food, especially all this microwave food, you're actually destroying your, your intestinal walls of your stomach and it's always your body's always trying to get back to homeostasis and every time that it tries to repair itself what's happening is that you get these hunger pains and you think these hunger pains are actually you speeding your metabolism getting you know you want to go in and eat more food but it's not that your body is literally like screaming for help like yo stop doing this shit to me <laughs> but you you get these hunger pains and you think the body is hungry for more nutrition but it's not and it may be asking for certain nutrients yeah that could be another perspective of it because here's the thing the fact that you're intaking all this food and further killing your body with all this fucking dead food that you're putting in there what's happening is your body is starving for nutrients so you'll start to crave salty things because you have no minerals you'll start to crave sugary things because you have no vitamins or minerals in your system so yeah your body is screaming for nutrients and half of the time too you know what's crazy is that are you even drinking enough water all right to hold to to literally balance out all the matter that you're putting in you see your body is made up of 75 to 80 percent water and that's up for debate because it could be even more all right but your body's made of water so what should be what you should be ingesting the most of should be water okay should be water and it should be a, a, a certain type of water it can't just be any water because you see the the thing that's going on here is with spring water it has synthetic minerals so this is why your body is always dehydrated because your these synthetic minerals are also destroying the natural chemistry of the body all right what you should be eating is more fruits, but you should, in reality, aside from even eating fruits, because the fruits have distilled water in it, but it has all the minerals in there. So you actually get everything you need in just that one power pack punch, because you'll get the distilled water to cleanse you out, which is why fruits are a cleanse. It's the fruits are like, let's say, for example, you eat grapes. Grapes is all water. It's like 90% water. The rest of it is just the fucking skin. 95% water, maybe. Okay, so when you eat grapes, when you eat strawberries, when you eat any, every kind of berry, they're all made of water, distilled water at that. And then it has all the minerals. But do you know what? There's a saying also, oh, you know, the fruits aren't like, you know, the soil's not mineral rich anymore. So you don't even get minerals from the soil anymore. So now the, the fruits don't even have the minerals anymore. You start talking about GMO and blah, blah, blah. Listen, there, there's, there's also another way to look at this. If you're not clean, if your body's dirty, okay? You're not absorbing anything. You're not going to absorb any minerals. This is why it may seem like everything is mineral deficient, but it really isn't. It's, it's just that you are full of garbage and your body cannot absorb anything. Not only that, but if you're full of parasites, all right, and they're festering in there and, and with all this matter and junk that you put in there, they got so fucking large that all your, they're, the parasites, what they're doing is they're, they're benefiting from all the nutrients that you do put in if you decide to intake some kind of nutrients in there, okay? If you're taking in all these nutrients, the, 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 the parasites are actually what are benefiting from this. Now, your body is literally working hard to break down and digest and metabolize this food, but it's getting no benefits of any nutrients. So you're actually getting hit. It's like a double hit with a bat. Not only are you ex exerting energy to metabolize this food, but you get nothing out of it too. It's like me going somewhere and giving my money away and getting nothing back. Okay. Now, here's the crazy part too though. If you have, you see people demonize parasites. But with all this garbage that you're putting in, it, it, you know, sometimes you got to say, man, thank goodness for these parasites. Because if you didn't have these parasites in your stomach, all right, you'd be all fucked up because they're helping you break down this fucking uh, uh, rot fucking food that's in there. Because, if, see, me, I garden. So now I start to look at this garden. And when you compost, okay, so you can have a body of land and then you'll use a raised bed where you'll start to throw your food scraps in there. Okay, you see, they decompose and break down and it mineralizes the soil. So this way, when you plant, when, 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 you, when, when you take a plant and, and, and you plant it in there, okay, now all these minerals go to, to the fruit that, to, to, the, to the plant and it, and it gives it to the fruit that is bearing. 
okay? And then here's the thing. You're going to have to prune some leaves to make sure that all the nutrients go to the fruit and not to the leaves, okay? But when we look at a plant, we look at a plant and sometimes... Maybe you get heavy rains and hails, or you got bugs that will eat your fucking plants. You know that's actually not even a bad thing if you really look at it. These bugs that eat the leaves, all right, actually help balance the fucking, the way everything is working. Because what's happening is, is that if these leaves, you see, that's the reason why people prune their plants. But if you weren't, let's say, for example, and this is why people aren't even needed to do all that. Because that's the reason why these bugs will eat the plants and then those leaves they turn to shit Right, and then they end up falling off and dying So what happens is that's like a natural pruning process. So now the the nutrients are all going to the fruit That's why the fruits are there for people to take and eat Okay, so the same thing these worms When you put those food scraps in the soil these worms go and help decompose that food into the soil and what's happening is that those those parasites, those worms that are in the soil, they poop. And that poop, that's called worm casting. That's black gold for a gardener. Because when you take that worm casting, you take it with some peat moss and some soil and some and, and you know you balance it out with all these these other things. Cow manure is the perfect if cow manure will actually help you break down all the food scraps too because of the of the microbes in the in the cow poop. Okay, which is crazy, which is fucking crazy. So you have all this in your body. So this is why it is important to learn the chemistry of your body. Learn what's going in. Okay, if you're gonna if you're gonna have a party, learn how to clean your house. But then know what you're gonna repopulate it with. Okay, so the bodybuilding industry, all right, has it all wrong. They have it all wrong because I'll tell you right now, I'm down to eating one meal a day. All right, if that, maybe sometimes I go less. And here's the funny part. If I gain weight or I may appear to look bigger, okay, I'll tell you right now, I didn't do it taking supplements and I didn't do it upping any food, okay? What I did was maybe up my protein a little bit. I got off the fruits, okay, and maybe, and here's the thing though, I go to a farm, okay? I go to a farm that's literally about four miles from my from my place, okay? And this lady is the farmer, and her chickens are running all she has like literally I'm not I'm not exaggerating she has like 60 acres of land all right 60 acres of land she's got fucking crazy ass fucking space and all these chickens are all over the place but she's got to have them protected because of course you got coyotes you got fox they'll they'll take these shits and fucking eat them all up right so she's got them roaming around but they got them in certain sections where they're allowed to roam around and they're eating earthworms she's she's she gives them a uh, uh this uh, hemp, uh, I forgot what the hell she told me she gives them, but I'll get back to you on that. But they're mainly eating what's in the soil. What's in the soil, okay? So I get these eggs, like today we went and picked up six dozen eggs. These eggs were hatched today. They've never been refrigerated. So if I want to up my weight and I know I'm gonna go to the gym to up my weight, not only am I doing it by upping my protein, but I'm visually making it happen. I'm making it happen. You know why? Because I am shape-shifting. I am shape-shifting myself to do that. Listen to me when I tell you this. I had a broken wrist that I healed in four days. And I made sure that my intent for those four days was to heal my wrist. After three days it was healed. But I wanted to make sure I showed you guys that on the fourth day where I was able to move it perfectly. But I can tell you this. It, from the way it looked, I made a video. I made a video how it looked on the first day, the second day, and then what it looked like on the, on the fourth day. It looked like nothing ever happened. And I was back in the gym on the fourth day. So when I want to change my body, if I want to gain more weight, I will make sure I mentally make it happen. That's shape shifting. You don't have to believe me. Okay, but start working on yourself when it comes to this because you don't even have to go to the gym and spend two hours there. Do you know that you can mentally, mentally put yourself in the gym and you will actually gain fucking muscle, man. So I can tell you right now, I cannot be destroyed. Nothing can ever happen to me unless I allow it to happen. And I can make whatever I want happen happen 
because I know. You see, here's the thing. You start, there's going to come from a moment in time where you're going to know you're that powerful. You're that strong. Okay? And all it takes is for you to realize this. But for you to realize this, you're going to have to put some time into yourself. See, because all these people that work out, they need to go out into the world to show off their body. So they're barely ever to themselves. They say, oh, yeah, you know, I don't party anymore and blah, blah, blah. But that's a bullshit like it. They're putting themselves out on Inst on Instagram. They'll go out to this place and then they'll, they'll, they'll try to get girls hit. Like, it's, it's listen, it's all like a, 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 you're paying attention to a false fucking a, a reality that doesn't fucking really matter. So you're here as an ex for an experience, but it should be an experience that you're here for what reason it may be. Maybe you're here serving time, okay? Or you're here to experience and learn. Whatever the reasons may be, it's, it's, it's going to be based on whatever you decide it to be, okay? So if you want to say this is hell, then this is hell because that's what you believe it to be. If you say you're here in this matrix serving time because we're in a sentence, we're bound by time. And when you go to jail, you do jail time, right? And you're in, you're, you're doing a sentence, which, which is a line. Everything here comes down to being in lines, right? You go to school, you, you're, you're in a line, you go to the military, you're in a line. Everything has to do with a line. Don't go, yo, don't cross the line. Yo, you came out of line. You're out of line. So, you know, people get upset, but it doesn't come down to that. Okay. If you believe it to be that, then it is that. And if you're here, okay, because you're here in paradise and you're empowered. See, my next videos, I'm going to talk about, you know, I left my job, but why did I do it? And I'm not telling you that you could do, you should do that. No, but I'm going to talk about my experience and why I did it. Okay. Everything is mental. This is a mental game. It's just like people now, they, 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 in the news, they'll tell you, yeah, you know, we went to the moon and blah, blah, blah. They said we went to the moon. It doesn't mean you went to the moon. We is them. They're speaking French on you. It ain't we. They went to the moon. You went nowhere. They went to the moon, but it doesn't mean they physically went to the moon. See, everything ain't the way it seems to be. They could tell you we went to the moon, but it don't mean they physically went to the moon. They might have went to the moon in another way. All right. They may have astral projected or maybe they built machines because they weren't able to do it to get themselves there astrally somehow. Right. But that'll be another video because I'm going to make a video on that as well. So everything's mental and you have these powers within you the same way you go work out in the gym. Put that same energy. They say mind, body, and spirit is the balance. But people only go and spend all their energy at the gym and then destroy it with the energy they borrow from like energy drinks and pre-workouts and all these supplements and all these foods. And it's not like that. What you need to do, well, what you can do, not what you need to do, you can do whatever the fuck you want, is literally take most of that time and invest it internally. So this way you can learn how to manipulate everything outside of your world here because it's you're the universe everybody else is just planets and extensions of you mirrors of you that you can organize physically or you can just go within and do this shit all right so like share and subscribe and we'll talk soon